Traps in this burning room, frames in the shape of you. You left me standing in the dark. You left me heart and soul. These words were made for you, and now we're nothing but a spark. Cause the hardest thing I ever do is walk away. Still loving you, but now I'm just somebody they say I You let me in, you spill me out your song, and I can live it out. But now I'm just somebody that you love, somebody that you love.
Happy Saturday. It is a good Saturday. It is Easter weekend if you celebrate. Um, we kind of do. We get together as a family and do the whole thing. Um, I have to make some desserts. So that is my plan after stream is to start making some desserts for Easter. Um, I hope you all are well. We are back with the Westons today. We are in the 1920s. We're basically starting like the new generation now. Um, we have Joseph who is going to be the heir and then his little sister Ella aged up during our last stream on Wednesday and she is super cute. So the plan today, we don't have a lot on the calendar for the Westons right now. So there's not any like big birthdays or anything like that going on, but we're going to take some time to get to know Jojo a little bit, our heir, and then I want to take this opportunity while we have like not a lot going on to really grind um, Sam's horse training stuff. So hi, Lion. How are you? I, um, I played through the remainder of the day where we left off last time. So everyone's just waking up as we're going to be getting into the game here now. They're just getting up in the morning, but I had Sam doing some training um, before he went to bed the previous night. I we really need to get those going um, so we can get his aspiration and we can officially kind of move on to the next generation. It's my personal goal to get each heir. Seamus is he's having a day here. He's he's doing his whole thing. I don't know. Um, but it's kind of just a personal goal that I have set to get all the heirs. Hi, Tori. How are you? To get all the heirs, get their aspirations. Sam, I don't know. We're going to try. It, it's like not a simple one. Um, it's a grindy one. It's very grindy. Uh, Charles, I don't think he got, he got a chance to get his because he died. So really want to get Sam his aspiration. And then, yeah, we're going to get to know Joseph a little bit. We're going to get him to meet some of the kids that are in the town. I'm on, honestly not even sure how many sims are currently children in the town right now so we're gonna go check that out we're gonna have him go around and meet everyone um he's literally like drooling and rubbing <laughs> so gross but Seamus is here today we have Tonka in the dog bed on the doggo cam right now um and then yeah and then Seamus it's been a minute since Seamus has really tried to steal screen time here but today, I, I guess, is the day. I'm glad to hear you are excited for Easter. I really love getting together with my family. It's going to be a little odd for us this year because, like, my one aunt, my one uncle, two separate people are on two separate vacations right now. So they're not around. It's going to be a much smaller get together this year. Um, but it'll still be nice. Um, I make a dessert that we call... Um, adult pleasures in a pan um, because it is so good. It is so simple. Um, the biggest thing when you make it is like I learned over the years is to make the crust ahead of time because that's like kind of a process waiting for it to cool and everything. Um, so I'm going to make the crust tonight and then I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to finish the dessert in the morning and yeah, then we're going to go hang and we're going to eat some good food and spend time together. So I hope if you do celebrate that you end up having a fantastic Easter. Um, I'm glad that you're here with me today. Uh, I, I wasn't sure, you know, a lot of people travel during this weekend. So we'll see. We're also gearing up here in my town for the solar eclipse. So we have like just about a little bit over a week until the solar eclipse and there's like we're right in the path of totality so they're talking about you know our stores getting sold out and all of that so as soon as easter and all that craziness is over then it's time to prepare for everybody coming to visit our town for the the eclipse and make sure that we're stocked up on food ahead of time and all of that fun stuff but yeah that's kind of where we're at so let's just jump right into the game here and get everyone out of bed 
they're all sleeping. Um, I think the little one just woke up and we learned that she's going to be one that loves wake up time. So that's exciting. Ella is going to love waking up bright and early. I don't know how I feel about that, but sure. <laughs> so if you missed last stream, there she is. Um, farting it up. Yeah. Perfect. Great start to the day. So who is currently awake? Everyone is up now. Wait a minute. No, you're sleeping. I thought he was sad. I saw the like blue and I'm like, what are you sad about right now? All right. So let's just hit a quick pause. The child. Not too bad. Okay. They're all hungry. So who's going to make our brekkie today? Nice, Oberon. That's exciting. Some time off. Oh, no. I hope Easter doesn't get ruined. That wouldn't be good. Welcome in, Oberon. How are you today? Are you doing good? It sounds like <laughs> you're on the verge of a good time. Some time off of work and stuff. That's... As we talked about last time, I had some time off of work, but it did not go remotely how I was hoping that it would. Um, but it's all right. We're getting through it. In a weird way, I'm kind of looking forward to going back to work. I don't know. It, it helps me with my routine, you know? I don't know. I, I struggle planning and... I don't know, work just keeps me... I'm sorry, you guys. This cat literally drooled on me and on my desk. It's the nastiest. <laughs> so gross. We're gonna uh, sanitize our hands here. Gross. Alright, so she's got breakfast handled. Oh, yeah. And also, if you missed it, Mildred aged up during the last one also. She is a raven-haired version of her mother. Super cute. Um, we're also kind of going more towards the 1920s style with the younger women in the house. So that's fun changes. What else did we do? Oh, yeah, we updated the bathroom. So now we have, like, indoor plumbing. And we're eventually just going to be able to just get rid of the outhouse. I have left it for now. And Leo's currently in there taking a bath. But, like, honestly, this tub is so poor. It takes them forever to bathe in it. Um, so it's probably going to be better for us to just eventually get rid of that. Um, but for now, we'll just leave it there. It's fine. Oh, yeah. That makes sense, Oberon. You know, the lead up to closures. People go kind of go kind of crazy that's what I'm like I want to believe that they're just hyping up this eclipse thing and it's gonna be fine because I have a I have a dentist appointment that day and they're talking about like traffic being crazy and like a part of me was like man maybe I should cancel my appointment and then I actually saw what is your problem oh you you weren't able to broom the floor all right all right all right all right um, I actually saw a post from like a police department a couple towns over and they actually said like, if you have appointments, reschedule them. And I'm like, really? So as of right this minute, I'm planning on going to the dentist that day. I don't know. I'm like, I, I hope I don't have to get on like the highway or anything to go to the dentist. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm just messing with my volume a little bit here, guys. That should be better. Let me know if there's any issues on your, your all's end. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I swear, when I stream the volume issues, it's always so loud. I don't I don't know. 
All right, so everything is quickly falling apart around here. We have laundry in the middle of the kitchen for who knows what reason. Who did anyone even eat before they went to school? Not really, no. The neglect going on in this house is crazy. Everyone else is good. So it's Monday. That's the only unfortunate thing. So we're not going to be able to really go do anything with Joseph until he's out of school. Um, but we can go into Manage Worlds and we can see who all we have that has children right now. Ooh, you work in a bakery. <clears throat> I used to work at, it was, I guess, kind of like a convenience store, but it was like a full-fledged grocery store, had a deli, you know, um, and a bakery, and I was in charge of baking for a couple years. I actually kind of liked it. Didn't love the job overall, but didn't mind the baking part. So let's just pop into Man's Worlds while they're all at school and stuff. I want to see what we have actually going on. So we only have a couple families that we're really paying any attention to. So I don't know what all is going on here in the town. So this is where our sweet Lily has moved. And I was thinking after the stream, I was kind of just going to let them like do their own thing and potentially like, you know, have children and stuff. But then I'm thinking if every two days is a year, we're probably going to have to pop in and spur that all along. Because the game's timeline is going to be, like, the default timeline for the, the the game itself is going to be way off from every two years, or every two days being a year. So we, we'll give it some time, but we'll probably have to go, okay, so there's no children here. These are the single ladies, so there's no children there. Okay, there are some kids here. That we could probably integrate into our story. I wonder whose kids those are. Um... So it looks like there's just a bunch of single, like several different families. And then the kids belong to these two. Okay, we might be able to just, I don't know, add some more of our own Sims too, you know? What am I doing? I want to go in here. Did you have, did you father any of these children? Wait, I'm so confused right now. Wait. Oh, he got married. He got married. Wait, and he had kids. He, these are his kids. Okay. Now it's making more sense. Because we just threw him in here as a single sim and we just kind of, he didn't get along. So if you missed it, we added this sim in to be like a friend to Charles, our starting heir, um, the first man of the family. And they hated each other. <laughs> they didn't like each other at all. So he kind of fell by the wayside a little bit, but apparently he got himself married. And this is his daughter? No. Which one was his daughter? Okay, I'm getting confused already. Which one was his daughter? No, wait. Was I on the wrong sim? Okay, I'm tripping. No, this is his wife. Didn't it say he had kids? She has kids. Oh, so they're not actually his. Okay. I'm like, I am so lost right now. Hello. I'm so glad you finally made it to a stream. Yeah, so this is our Weston family. Um, We're just kind of looking at, well, this isn't them. Sorry. We're looking at some of the Sims in the world because we're kind of moving on to our next generation now. And we have to find some friends and, you know, potential future 
lovers, wives, whatever for him. What are you wearing, child? So this is one little girl that's here. And then we have this little boy here. Oh, he's cute. So I'm just going to throw... I'm not going to spend a bunch of time. I'm just going to throw some better clothing on them to more suit the times. And then we're going to go around and meet all the children. And then we're going to build... We're going to make a club. So... Ooh, look at you looking snazzy. Dang. I am going to give you some eyelashes, though. Because I don't vibe with the no <laughs> with no eyelashes. Wait, where are all my eyelashes at? Okay, so Octavio, potential friendo. That's all. I'm literally, that's... I don't know who the father is of the kids. Yeah, that's weird. So maybe he'll end up having a child of his own, though, Oberon. I mean, we could always make that happen if we wanted to. I confused myself there. So if I confused any of you in the process, I'm sorry. Okay. The Wainwrights. We have... Okay, so Maddox is a teen now. Arlene is a child. So we need to go in to Catherine's family here. And give them some makeovers so that we can befriend them as well. Yeah, he probably would make very pretty babies. So here's Arlene, Catherine's daughter. So Catherine has not had any additional kids um, on her own. Thank you for the follow, Leah. Or Leaf. Leaf. I'm sorry. For some reason, my text is so small on my screen. Like, it's so hard to see, and I've not been able to figure out why it does that to me yet, but I really appreciate you following today. We are just kind of doing some management stuff right now um, so that we can move on to our next gen. Oh, nice. You're Tori from YouTube. Sweet. Thank you for jumping over to Twitch and supporting there. Okay, I don't think I'm going to spend a bunch of time on her. However, this is one of our, like, special sims. Um, if you're new to the Westons, we took Catherine. So this lovely lady is Catherine from the Ultimate Decades who died as a toddler. And we brought her over here and aged her up. And we have used her as a very good friend um of our main lady ren and look how gorgeous she is so in the ultimate decades challenge she did die as a toddler um but we brought her over here and then this is her daughter we tried to marry one of her children already um we tried to marry our first daughter to Catherine's first son and then he died in the war so that didn't happen we have not married into Catherine's family yet so Arlene here, there's a good chance that we could marry into the family via little Arlene here, which is exciting. So if you don't know this challenge, but you know the Ultimate Decades challenge, that's kind of, we kind of pulled some of our favorite Sims over into this. Because I had no other excuse to let Catherine live. So <laughs> I let her live this way. She is really adorable, isn't she? We're just going to give her... I'm going to leave most of her skin details the way that they are. I think the main thing making her look the way she's looking is this skin. But she's very cute anyhow. So we're going to throw some lashes on her. And as always, we're going to find a good blush for her. There we go. I'm happy with that. I like the hair. It was the first hair I just threw on her. I'm not going to complain about it. So athletic wear. I mean, I'm not super picky about it, but I am going to get rid of that stuff. There you go. Um, I just have a feeling she's going to be around quite a bit. So I'm going to give her outfits for everything really fast. Like, really fast. Like, I'm not putting any thought into this whatsoever. 
Yes! So, Tori, I think you might have just hit the nail on the head with that one. Because I downloaded some CC that was actually inspired by the American Girl dolls. So, that could be one of them. Um, are you going to go shoeless to a party? I mean, maybe. But we'll give you shoes. It's all good. <laughs> Um, so we're getting away from some of the more, like, really old-timey, early, like, bathing suits and stuff now. We're in the 20s now. So, it is what it is. Oh, you're bald. Did I do that? Somehow? I'm actually not mad at this outfit. This can work. Maybe a brown go better with the time period and maybe those tan shoes again you're cute oh you've disappeared here we go oh my gosh look at her oh too cute i will do you a kindness sweetheart and i will give you some leggings for the cold because you're gonna freeze in this my goodness okay if he gets with her he's a lucky guy that's all i'm gonna say real quickly we're gonna give maddox some remember we also have um a daughter that we're gonna have to eventually marry off as well so these are our Ar arthur morgan from red dead redemption 2 outfits fyi um i don't know what's your body shape is very interesting my guy Ooh, dapper. Oh, that's his cold weather wear. Oh, well, it's fine. A little tour of the town. Sure, there's not a whole lot to see. <laughs> Honestly, there's really not. Um, we have, so we have said that we're going to start using other towns as like offshoots of this town. And we haven't even gotten that far yet. Um, so mainly it's the ranch. There's a bar, our ranch, a little bar and a nightclub, which is also just like a Western bar. So there's not a whole lot happening here right now. You know what? I don't think he needs all these other outfits. We'll do a hot weather. So we don't see him running around looking goofy as all heck. If he ends up becoming a more important character, then we'll come back in and we'll give him a better makeover. So, so, sir. Thank you. Um, man, the shoe options for men are just not great, are they? All right, that's a little bit better. That'll do. He's a teen, so we probably need to get him hooked up with our daughter. But yeah, let's take a quick look at the town here. Excuse me for one second, y'all. Maybe. This weather is straight up killing me. It has been so cold and windy and it's been raining. And I thought for sure I was getting sick yesterday. Um, but I think it's just allergies and just being out in the cold and the wind. It's, it's been knocking me down. So this is our ranch. Um, we started literally, we started this playthrough with a tent. But this is our ranch now. We'll pop in there in a second. Um, this is where our daughter's living. This is where Catherine's living. And then this is the other family that has children that we need to stop in and look at. I think they're made over okay for now. The outfits look all right. For the children, at least. So there's three children that we can come meet over here. I think that's plenty. I was going to add some if I thought we needed them. But I really think that's plenty. So the only male teen for Mildred... That's in the town right now is Maddox. Interesting. Let's see. I don't know. We'll see what happens. 
And I'll quickly run through our Sims for anyone who's new. I need to do better at, like, at the start of every new decade, kind of doing, like, a little recap of where we've been. So we started with Ren and Charles. Charles is dead. He died in the war. So she was our first Sim. Gorgeous woman. Love her. Um, this is her son who miraculously somehow survived the war and is our heir. Um, and then he had Jojo, who's currently at school, and Ella, who are the new generation. And this is his wife. This is Catherine's daughter, Thora. Did I misspeak earlier and say we have not married into Catherine's family yet? Why would I say something like that? Is any, does anybody else have this issue where the body hair in The Sims is absolutely out of control? I don't shame. I don't shame a little body hair, but <laughs> my God. <laughs> Our ladies have some hairy arms. They look like they're wearing like fur coats. <laughs> Hot and muggy where you are. I don't mind. Like, I love fall. And I like spring. It's just the wet. The wet is too much for me. Because it just stays wet forever. And I'm, I'm a horse person. So wet means mud. Which is just ugh, no fun to deal with. All right, so we're going to wait for Jojo to get home and we're going to hang out with him. What was the other thing I, I wanted to do? Oh, the training of the horses. Duh. Yeah. The shaving, definitely. Body hair, they would be kind of... So I think per the challenge rules, we're doing the, the cute coffee girl version of this challenge. Per the rules, this is the decade women start shaving or women are allowed to start shaving. However, I just find the, <laughs> the Sims body hair is just, it's a little extreme on the ladies. I'm a very hairy girl. You can't see it on camera, but I've been hairy ever since I hit puberty. I am, and my hair is like dark. Um, so definitely not shaming whatsoever. It's just, and, and the textures of it. I don't know. It just looks wild to me. All right. So we need to train the horses. So what I did last night, I actually had him training both horses at the same time. <laughs> so I actually had him direct the horses to practice. So Roni's doing, or no, Rosie's doing barrels because we have to get Rosie's agility up or not. Or the game will refuse to listen to me, which is fine. It's not fine. It's not fine at all. Why are you going? Okay, you better. Yeah, that's a little extra hairy, you know? <laughs> and I don't like the way that the shaving is in this game. Like, it's hard to remember to tell them to shave when they get in the shower. All right, so we got one horse doing barrels. Then let's come over here and direct the other horse to practice jumping. Rioni? Pony is named after Riona. So we have Roni, Rosie, and Rioni. <laughs> There's a theme going here. But this is our youngest one that we bred. So we have to get this one training as well. Um, so he's training both horses by making them train themselves, essentially, is what is happening here. But his aspiration is to reach level 10 of the horse riding skill, compete in 15 competitions, and win gold in five master horse competitions, which we're not even close to doing that yet, and then place at the ultimate horse championship. So this is our primary horse we're competing with. Um, but if we keep slacking the way that we're slacking, that horse is going to be old and potentially die before he even gets this done. <laughs> so... We need to get, we need to get a move on. The only thing is you have to like pay attention. I think we have a mean horse again. Um, I have not looked at what traits this horse got when it aged up, but it keeps biting people. So aggressive indeed. Great. Love that for us. That's perfect. I love rain because I get to run in the dishes when it's warm and I love mud puddles. 
Yes. I remember those days. There's this animation air again. We do have some fun when the arena, the outdoor arena, floods at the barn my horses are at. If it's nice enough out and it's not like right now where it's cold and windy. But if it's decently warm, we'll actually go out and we'll play with the horses. We'll ride. Like when the arena floods sometimes, I mean, it's it's not just puddles. It's like a lake, you know, and we can actually go out and have a little bit of fun out there in it. But And it's raining in our game now. Look how gorgeous. Look at this view. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Um, Rosie's doing the barrels. Get them back on track here. I was thinking we could have Mildred maybe help do some training with the horses. Um, the kids haven't really been involved with this at all. And realistically, they would. They would, you know. Do more than just feed chickens and take care of cows. All right, ladies, what are you guys up to? Okay, you're taking care of the dog, I guess. Um, we need some money, honey. So resume your painting, please. Um, what about you, little one? Are you doing a good job? Oh, you need a nap, sweetheart. So I did end up putting this kiddo's bed in her parents' room for now. I have not done anything with Lily's room after she moved out. I've just left it the way that it is. So we're going to send this little one to have a little nap. You knocked over the jumps already. All right. You know what this calls for? This calls for doing this manually. Quit biting him. You got your work cut out for you with this one, Sam. It's just going to keep biting you. Sul Sul, how are you today? Dat badass unicorn. <laughs> I love that username. Hello. Yeah, we have a mean horse right now. I don't know. I I are we even going to be able to ride? We have not ridden this horse yet. So we raised this one from a baby, but it got the aggressive trait. I don't know. Are we not able to get on at all? Sam? You have level seven. You should be able to get on a, a horse to train it. Ooh, look at the saddle set you have by default. That's cute. Practice jumps. <laughs> I have I have met some not so nice horses before. For sure. All right, um, what can this girl do to contribute to the household a little bit more? Well, first of all, we can put this away. It is 1 p.m. Let's potty train Ella. She never took her nap, so we're going to potty train her. It's fine. You got chased by a horse? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't tolerate um, too much. Like, there's a difference between a horse that truly has bad behaviors and, like, a horse that's just quirky or, like, in my case, I have a horse that some people would have never kept around, but I did. Like, she's not malicious. She's not nasty. She's just nervous, anxious kind of horse. So she misbehaves sometimes based out of fear and whatnot. But there are truly some nasty, aggressive horses in the world. And I... Mm -mm. Nope. <sighs> this little one, I don't know. We're, I'm trying to potty train her and look. She's heading out to this stool. Every single toddler who has ever lived in this household is obsessed with sleeping on this stool for no reason. I told her to take a nap in her bed. And look at this. She's going to go take a nap on the stool in the rain. Somebody please explain to me. Child, if that's where you want to nap. Whatever. Oh, 
I'm sorry to hear that Twitch was giving you issues. Thank you for finding us over on YouTube again. I appreciate that. I don't know. And look, look how she's going to sleep. Literally in the rain. I told her to go take a nap. I literally clicked on the bed and clicked nap. And then I was going to potty train her and ne neither thing happened. Instead, she's sleeping outside. So it, whatever. Uh, was that? Wait. That was the one girl in that one family. Which one was it? I mean, sure, I guess. You almost got horse riding lessons? I I mean, it's never too late. I have a good friend who didn't start riding until she was in her late 20s and she's like obsessive about it now. <laughs> it's never too late to start. I started when I was like four and for so I don't know what it was because no one in my family had horses. But from the minute I could speak, all I could talk about was horses, wanting a horse, wanting to learn how to ride. Um, my dad wasn't a huge fan of it, uh, but my mom made sure I had riding lessons, even though we didn't have a lot of money at the time and stuff. She, she made sure it happened and I appreciate her for it every day because I don't, I wouldn't be who I am, I don't think, if it weren't. For the I don't know where I would be if I didn't spend like my whole life <laughs> like every minute of my life I'm thinking about my horses or I'm with them if I'm not with them I'm thinking about them it rules my whole life so the cat just moved and he's sitting and I can only see half of my monitor Seamus <clears throat> you're gonna have to like lay down School teaches important things. Oh, speaking of school, we got to take the $1,000 for Mildred being in high school now. Thor is neat now. Okay, let's, ooh, we're going to be broke. Let's take the $1,000 for the school. Eventually, there should be like a public school where school's like not costing money. Um, I don't know if that's in the rules somewhere. So we're just going to keep taking the money for now. See, miss, pss, pss, I need you to lay down so I can see the screen. Oh my God. You're about to have a tail in the camera too. There you go. Thank you, buddy. There you go. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it, bud. I had a large pony as a kid, but he kept breaking out to see the neighbor's mares. So ponies are notoriously mischievous little buggers. They truly are. But if you can get a pony well broke, they're they're great little fun animals to have around. But they can be really bad. Are you done? Sweet, we need money. Here you go. Where'd that other one go that you were painting? I'm confused. Oh, okay. First of all... We are blasting the music. Secondly, um, can we turn that down a little? <sighs> um, I forgot we had all this stuff when she was having her midlife crisis that we can sell for money. Oh, look, it's not that much money. Well, it was worth a shot, okay? 341 Smolians. It's better than nothing. Sweet girl's home from school. Look at her. Little one. Oh no! Are you on fire? Wait, what's on fire? What? What, what is burning? Um. Um, that was interesting. No, just come on, extinguish it. Don't run, get over here. 
Look at you just abandoning your sister to the fire gods. I know, right? She left the kid just sitting there. I don't know what technically caught fire. I guess the stool. You know what? I think it's time, y'all. I think it's time. We've had this fire pit since the start. This is how they ate when they first arrived to the ranch. I think it's time. I'm tired of the toddlers sleeping on it, first of all. Maybe we'll put a grill out here or something eventually. But I'm so over that. Did you pee your pants too? No, not yet. Good. Okay. Who has you right now? Who has you? Sam has you. We don't need to route to safety. The fire is gone. You need to potty train her. Mildred, I need to see you. I wonder if she would like horseback riding. We could give it a shot. Um... I think, where's the kid? Oh my God, this game. Actually, he had her in his arms. I wanted up the potty trainer and somehow she got stuck, left out by the road. Oh my God, let's have your mom potty train you. Please try this direction. Would someone just potty train the child? It's all I'm asking for because you I've changed my mind about what your task is. You're going to enter a competition. Um, we need Roni. No, nope. No, no. Rosie. There we go. What did we win? Okay. Recommended. He's got higher than recommended. Now... Now we're good for this. What is expert? Okay, six. So we need to level up temperament. All right, let's do intermediate. And then we'll work on the temperament somehow. Bro, the fire's been long gone. Dude. Oh my gosh. You got ran into a tree. Horses will do that though. They'll try to rub you off like on trees or like if in your in a if you are in an arena, that was like a tongue twister trying to come out for some reason. If you're in an arena sometimes yeah, they will like try to swipe your legs off the side of the thing. <laughs> Alright, someone's gotta pay the bills. Pay the bills, please. Oh, and we got to go with Jojo to meet people. But I need to make sure Sam is off. Is it going to mess with the competition if I leave right now? Why do I feel like if I leave, Sam's not going to actually compete? We're about to test it and find out. Kit Kat and Tubby are your cats. That's cute. I just have Seamus now. I used to have three cats. All right. Naturally, the first stop we're going to make is to meet Arlene. Of course, the first step is to meet Arlene. Hopefully, they'll get along and they'll be good friendos. It doesn't have to be anything more. We just... Where's Arlene? Knock on the door. Do you even know Catherine? <gasps> you don't know Kath. Oh, oh no. We came to meet her. And look. We are in a bad mood. That's not good. Oh boy. Were you swimming? What's he so mad about? Where's my attention? From feeling hurt? Whatever. You're spoiled. Oh, we got a silver medal. We can't even beat this level yet. Intermediate. 
like I, I have to admit this is the most I've dived into the horse thing okay and it is a grind it's a total grind trying to do this aspiration I wasn't expecting it to be so hard um um no a difficult dynamic what are you doing to her you shout no you're not shouting forbidden words at her mother go introduce yourself nicely don't be a little brat. <laughs> this could be your future wife, okay? The the options in town are slim, so let's not be mean to her right off the bat, all right? Make fun of adults. You're a treasure, aren't you? I don't even remember. What's his trait? Outgoing. Yeah, the, I think most of the children react negatively to having additional siblings born. She's gloomy? Oh, no. I don't know about that. We're just going to talk a little bit with her for a minute. Got the mood lit, so what if she sits up? I've been doing that for years. Really? Oh my goodness. For no <sighs> They're grooving. Got that country music going. Alright, you gotta go off to the next. It's already like, oh, in this lot. They take forever to leave this lot. They run so far. Before they actually travel. Oh, Seamus is back. I thought he had abandoned us, but he has returned. This time he's actually sitting on my footrest. So he's not in. Don't make a liar out of me. I was going to say he's not in the way. Oh, man, I actually made him go home. <laughs> that is not what I meant. <laughs> Gosh. It's like I never have played The Sims before, ever. Like, I do not know how to play. Yeah, so he's feeling hurt now. Instead of being angry, he's sad about the, the lack of attention now. All right, so here's our next stop, right? There's some girls to meet here. And a boy. And then there's one more boy in town we can meet. See how late it gets. My barn cats are Foxy and Lynx. I had a dog named Foxy. She was like... Uh, she was a mixed breed, like a mutt. But she looked like a German Shepherd, except she was the color of a fox. So she was like the color of a fox and then she had the, the black back like the German Shepherds have, you know? Gorgeous dog. She lived to be 14, 15-ish. One of the best dogs I've ever... I've had a lot of dogs in my life, okay? She was one of the best. <laughs> All right, so we have Thomas. Say hello to Thomas. We're going to get you a club together once we know all of these new friends. He's like starving. Mm -hmm. Okay, you gotta go find the other ones. Come on. Man, my brain's really farting out today. This isn't even as bad as the Ultimate Dark Age Challenge. He can't marry Arlene. They're too closely related. <laughs> oh my gosh, my brain is so bad right now. Oh. And then this family is now kind of married in because Lily married the eldest son from this family. 
However, they're not like blood related. He's not blood related to these these little girls. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Someone should have yelled at me. What are you talking about? He can't marry her. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Maybe I need a, a spreadsheet. Wait, there's another boy here too? Thomas and Reginald? How many kids are in this family? Holy cow. I'm losing my marbles. <laughs> oh my gosh, people are going to be watching that back and screaming at their computer. What are you talking about? He can't marry Arlene. <laughs> Too funny. Alright, so we have friends now at least. But we only know one little girl. Karina. She's cute. Well... We might have to add some Sims to the world. Maybe when he's a teen. We'll see how things go. Give him some options for ladies for his future. Oh my god, the fire. You're fine. You're totally fine. You do need to go eat, though. Yeah, technically, they could probably get married. Because that... That was a thing that, happened. especially when you're in, a, like, they're in the Wild West, which is probably becoming more populated now that we're in the 1920s. But assuming it's, you know, sparse, sparsely populated, then your options aren't many. But I don't know. That's, she's technically his aunt. So, yeah. All right, it's almost 11 p.m. We'll meet the other kid another time because he's really hungry, too. All right, we're doing the cheat, the cheating, the cheating way. Switch control. Yeah, so the family tree. <clears throat> Let's bring him here. And look at it from his... Um... So... He's here. Thora's here. Arlene's here. <laughs> so it's literally his aunt. I don't know what my brain was thinking. I don't know what was going on there. But, um, either way, we will ensure that Arlene is a part of the story and gets a husband and all that good stuff. But I, the marriage is not happening. This, well, we won't go there right now. I'm shocked that we haven't had to, like, start marrying relations yet in the Ultimate Decades Challenge. But I think the reason why it hasn't really come to that is just because you guys upload so many amazing Sims. And then I just add, like... If we don't have a sim in the world that our heirs into, like, I'll just add one. And there's always sims available for me to add to marry people in our side households. Yeah, I haven't had to really, like, intertwine anybody yet. But here, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, it's been a long week, all right? That's my only excuse. Anyway, Leo, however, does have a love interest. Um, Sierra. So we can do a little something with that. Let's just look at the calendar, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we don't even have anything going on until Saturday. So essentially a whole week before we have anything really going. So we can do whatever we want. Um, so we could probably spend some time with him and his potential lover. Um, we could... We could take Mildred to meet Maddox and see what she thinks of him. Do any of us know him? We should. Now she can... She can get with Maddox. 
She's Gen 2. What? You have a broken heart already? Amos is a young adult. Oh. Yeah, you know him. Duh. Okay. See if he'll come at midnight. He's not going to come at midnight. <laughs> Why are we all out here? What is happening? Maddox is sleeping. I figured. Um... If I could fix one thing in The Sims, let's be real. It would be hard to choose because there's so many things. But one of them would be when you are away from the household, they take care of themselves in ways that actually make sense. Like it's midnight. All right. It's midnight. No one's sleeping. This isn't as bad as it could be. I'll give them that. But it looks like they all slept somehow. Like they're all rested. That makes zero sense to me. We'll get some food for the little one. Um, he ate something apparently. His fun is tragic right now. How rest? You're you're the only tired one. <laughs> you're the only tired one because everyone else apparently slept. Whatever. Whatever. You are in bed. Someone needs to put the baby down when she's done eating. You go pee. I'm kind of looking forward to Leo aging up so he can leave. He could probably get married. Because he's a teenager. It's very easy to lose track. Um, thankfully, like for the ultimate decades challenge, the spreadsheet, it saves my life all the time, all the time. Because yeah, you could meet a Sim out in the world, you know, out in the wild randomly, but it could be a relation and you might not even know. Right. They reproduce like rabbits if you leave them as unplayable. Correct. Yeah. I didn't think I would need a spreadsheet for this playthrough, but... Clearly, my little brain just can't hack it, so I don't know. Wow. All right, you're done eating. Um, I guess Grandma could put you to bed? Because she's about to go drink some alcohol. <laughs> what? Read the toddler to sleep, maybe? Girl, no, stop it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you trying to get us in trouble? It's prohibition! Right now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the grandma? Who's getting us all in trouble. Oh, thank goodness for her, though. She saves the day a lot with these kids. I'm thinking she needs a little bit of a makeover. So we had said, like, as fashion changes, like, obviously she's a grandmother now, but we need to make her look more like a grandmother. Like, she still looks really young. So maybe we'll do that real quick, too. Grandma's a rebel, indeed. Um, I thought she, or, oh, I guess she was in that, like, resolution phase or whatever. So her midlife crisis is officially over. She's made it through a life-changing experience. And is more at peace with where she is in life. Yeah, I feel like because I am the way I am IRL in real life, all of my Sims would be on like the side of history, like, screw you telling me I can't have alcohol, whatever, you know? The rebels. Um, yeah, I guess let's just let everyone sleep. And then when they all wake up in the morning, what are you doing? Why are you up? You're supposed to be asleep. Let's roll. Get back in your bed right now. And then we'll give Ren a, a granny makeover. <laughs> Just like granny on Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Next you'll be smoking pot in the backyard. <laughs> or on the rocking chair on the porch. Ooh, we probably should put the rocking chair on the porch. Oh. That's my dream. 
Oh, I suppose I have to fix our foundation too now. Is there a ghost around or something? Oh, there is. Who are, Who's here? Charles, I have to have you leave so that time will go faster. Thank you. <laughs> From Poach Toker Granny. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, we haven't fed the dog in a while either. You do that when you wake up. Like, my dream is porch sitting, like, on a wraparound porch in the country. If you've been around and you've seen a lot of my videos, like, I talked, like, when I was moving. We just moved into this house, like, June? In June, I believe? So June will be a year. Um, we kind of settled for this house. It has no land. Um, and I wanted land because I'm a horse girl. I wanted to bring my horses home. I didn't want to have to board my horses anymore. Yada, yada, yada. So, no porch sitting for me. I mean, I have a porch. But literally, like, <laughs> right? So, if I sit on my porch and look, there's a cemetery. It's right there. So, I still do it. Definitely. I still porch sit, for sure. Especially when it's nice or when it's storming. Oh, just, a, just a nice chill storm. Like once it gets windy and there's like tornado warnings and stuff, then I'm out. I'm like, nope, I'm done with that. But nice chill storms. Oh my gosh. It's the best. Um, uh, he's still asleep, so we're going to have to send you out here. Because this situation is tragic right now. I don't even know what you're going to have time to do before school. You're going to have to get up. I know. You were out late. <laughs> I've kept you out late. <laughs> Sorry. Let's let Ren get up and then I'll give her a make. Why are you guys just standing here? That's right. Please. Go do something. You need to go... Direct your horse. Oh, wait. No. We need to get temperament for Rosie. Right? And she's sleeping. Okay. She's actually in a stall. That's shocking. Shocker. Alright. Come on, sweetheart. It's makeover time. It's time to make you look like a granny. It's past. It's past time, actually. All right, get up. <laughs> no, all the students are going by themselves. Thank you. Oh, the bees and stuff. <sighs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we have Doggo in Doggo Cam dreaming. There you go, guys. There he is. <laughs> Look at his little lips going. <laughs> oh. Oh, is it over? Nope, it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he dreams so much. Like, it's so often. Aw, the bubbas. That's the little bubbas. Whenever he does that, like when I'm recording and stuff, I just leave it in. I never cut it out because it's just so stinking cute. Got rid of your arm hair. All right, Granny. I think this is a little... It's a little much for a Granny. Oh my gosh, look at your leg hair. Looks like someone drew on you a Sharpie. I say that every time, but it is true. It is indeed. It's the granny. It's the granny nighty. 
There you go, Granny. Um, I want to actually change her to an updo. Like this. She's still Ren. She's still Ren, but I think that's a better look for her. Oh, I heard that too, Bubba. What is it? I think I heard a car door. I don't think anyone's here, though. <clears throat> Aw, Ren. It is kind of a bummer that she only had one child that looks like her. You know? So I don't mind this outfit for her. Um... Aw, oh, Bubbles was wrong. Oh, he's like, never mind. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I don't know where everyone else is right now. I literally only have one dog in here with me. It's odd. Oh, speak of the devil and there one is. <laughs> I was wondering where you at. Dad's home. My husband's home, so they're actually hanging out with him, too. Normally, he's not here or he's sleeping, and they're, they're like, all four in here with me. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not getting granny vibes. I love the outfit, though. Maybe the all black? Kind of like that. Um, this one's okay. Grandma Ren. You guys, it's crazy. I feel like we just started this challenge. And now she's the grandma of the house. Aha, here we go. Perfect. Yes. I'm, I'm vibing with that. A little too hip here, girl. Just a little too hip for grandma. And she's keeping, like, the style. So we're going back with, or we're going into, like, the 1920s style with the girls, kind of. But Ren's going to keep her old school style for the most part. I think we're just going to simplify and... Like, as beautiful as this dress has been on her, it's it's a younger lady dress, right? You know? Hi, baby girl. Oh, my God. All the animals. There's a cat. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it never ends around here. Maybe this one? I think this one kind of shows her status a little bit more. Like, it's silky. Like, she was able to finally afford a dress of nice fabric after all these years kind of thing. But what color? I don't know. I kind of like this. It's almost like a rosy brown. Wow, the grandma in your decades challenge got a lucky roll of living to 80. Dang. Okay, we said you're keeping your, your style, but there's an issue with the hair now. So this has got to go to bye-bye. That leave. Um, I don't know, girl. I think this is a little... I think your daughters would probably be like, mm, Mom, mm. Maybe try another dress, Mom. Another dress might be a good idea. You know? <laughs> um. It's 
the browns look so good on her or am i just tripping i mean that's wild um see miss your head is in my way that is a very poofy skirt but for formal wear i'm okay with it um i'm not worried about athletic wear party i'm not mad at it this is all right whoa I was going to say maybe a different pattern, but jeez. Okay, are you just trying to leave? Leave then. No reason to trip out. Oh yeah, that's fancy schmancy right there. I'll let her wear that. That's fine. Swimming, that's fine. Hot weather, I think that's all right. That's good. Um... Let's see. I, I, I'm okay. Maybe change the hat. Which one do you have right now? This one. Ooh, what if we say your daughter's got you a trendy hat? Oh. Your hair's... Is that your hair sticking out? No. That's part of the hat. Um... I don't know if it really fits her. <gasps> Ooh. 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 A gift from her daughters. A 1920s style hat. Uh, the, the hair. Mm. There we go. Um, what about I don't have any CC jewelry, do I? Indeed not. Uh, so forget that idea, maybe. I was gonna start maybe giving them some some jewelry, but we'll download some. Our beautiful grandma. Aww. <laughs> we love her. It's gonna be so crazy. I gotta look and see what her actual age is. Like how close... Qu close? Oh my goodness. Close. <laughs> how close is she to being like an actual granny? Um... 18 days oh my gosh no um i am gonna have you shave your legs can we not shave in a tub what shave your legs um okay now what kids are off to school we need to make the club don't let me forget when he comes home from school the rest of you need to do work around the farm, all right? I'll allow, I'll allow you to eat breakfast. That's fine. Um, I'm cool with breakfast. Everyone can eat. Someone needs to get food for the child. I guess the child will eat an egg. Speaking of eggs, we probably have 18 bazillion eggs. So um, we should boil some more. We're still using the cookbook mod that we use in the Ultimate Decades um, for stuff like that. <gasps> Roni, Roni has been here since the beginning. It was the only she was the only possession. The Westons had when they came to Red Roan Field in 1890. So she would be the oldest horse to ever live. <laughs> no. I didn't change the horse aging system. Um, it probably gives them an extra 10 years that they shouldn't have, but it's fine. But this is very sad. Bye bye, sweetheart. Oh my god, why do they have to make them lay like that? That is traumatizing. If you've ever had to actually put a horse down, it is. Yeah, it's not 
it's not good. Because you can't just get a horse to lay down like you can like a dog. You know what I mean? It can be kind of traumatizing. Oh, your kid is here. Oh. Your kid. Look at your daughter crying. Oh. Grim, why are you taking so long? Why aren't you out here witnessing this? Your horse is dying. Oh. He missed it completely. Well, she was technically Charles's horse. Oh my gosh. Look at the grave. It's my first horse death. Look at the grave. It's so cute. Oh. Well, Sam. I think that this is... Oh my god, what? It technically died off our property. So I don't own this. You gotta be kidding me. So... We have this issue with this lot, which I'm okay with the issue normally, but the horses are never on our actual home lot. They hang out over here or apparently over here. So now I don't own this stinking thing. Can I add the ghost to the household? Will that work? Now do I own it? Oh, come on. <sighs> well. Um, I might need to grab a mod so I can get that. Yeah, I just removed it. Yeah, I don't have the tool mod in or or any of the mods that allow you to grab headstones and stuff. But I was going to say this. We're going to have to actually put up a cemetery now. We have two graves here and now the horse. So that's going to be on the agenda at some point. I guess I should have known that was coming. Like it was overdue, but I don't know. I wasn't even thinking about it. Leo just got the... Re Results from his SDT, success termination test. His scores aren't quite as high as he hoped they would be. Should he sign up to retake the test or just be happy with what he has? So he's a genius. So we're going to retake the test. That's what he would do. Really, Leo? No, you're not allowed to do that stuff. You're a genius. Get it together, okay? Get it together. Grandma Wren, guess what time it is, my love? Laundry time. What else is new? <laughs> Wash them their clothes, girl. Sam, I need you. Oh, Lily's calling. She's writing us. So. Wren, why are you sitting on the ground? Why were you... Okay, Sam has to do more horse training, but we need to get Rosie's temperament skill up. How do you do temperament? Is it friend? Oh, excuse me. Now I'm going to get the hiccups. Friendly interactions? I thought there was like a temperament category. Seek emotional support. Yes, do that quite a bit. Let's see if that helps. The first time I played Sims 4, I had no idea what I was doing. When cooking for the kids, this is the house on fire. They were outside and all the adults burned to death. In the first five minutes of life. Oh no. I haven't, knock on wood, I have not had a child taken away in The Sims in a long time.
Is this going to get your temperament up? Because it's very important. We need this to get our aspiration. We we need to grind this out. We have to master the horse competitions. We have to win gold in five of them. And we ain't going to do it with a temperament of what did you have? Four or something? Oh, let me look at the profile. Why is this game the way it is? Mm-mm-mm. Oh my gosh, dying of laughter and stuff is so annoying. <laughs> Wait, you have to permit six. When a sim cares for and socializes with that horse, skill can also be acquired by sending a horse for training using the community board. I guess we could get a boost on that by using the community board to have someone help us. The agility, we've almost hit the next one. I'm not worried about jumping or endurance at the moment. It's temperament and agility that we need for the Western pleasure category that we somehow got roped into as our, like, specialty. Man, honestly, I was so young. I don't remember the first time I ever played The Sims. I don't even remember the last, like, the first time I played The Sims 4. I do remember I struggled at first with The Sims 4 because I loved The Sims 3 so much. And obviously, we all know it was a disappointment in comparison. Um, we never finished this treehouse, did we? No. Do you want to hang out tonight at the nightclub? Oh, I want to go. We haven't seen Catherine in a while, but we really got to train these horses. We're going. We're going to hang with Catherine. Oh, this nightclub. We can't be here. Catherine, you've time traveled us. We are so <laughs> out of place here. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't pay attention. I thought it was, I thought it was the nightclub in town. Okay, we have to leave. We have to leave here. Can I leave here? Yeah, but stay in my group with me and let's go to... <laughs> Back to our Wild West time, please. <laughs> oh, I really can't wait to finish the Ultimate Decades episode, y'all. It, it's more time consuming than I was anticipating. Because I'm doing, like, pictures, which requires me to pose all the sims. I'm doing, like, big family pictures before I... And all of that. And it's just taking forever. I had to download poses because obviously some of the families are so big. And then they're still not really appropriate poses. So then I am combining different poses together. Like posing some sims with one pose and the rest with the other. It's a whole thing. But I, I can't wait to get that done. I'm really looking forward to having less sims in the Ultimate Decades world. So hopefully the game runs a heck of a lot better. And then just seeing how, where things are going to go now that we have fewer sims to worry about. Like, we're actually going to be able to dive into Faith's story now. Because there's not so much else happening around her all the time. We have not even gotten to give Faith a story. I'm I'm so looking forward to it. And I'm working diligently to finish it. I promise. I am I'm working on it. All right. Which one's the nightclub? This is the nightclub. Let's go here instead, Catherine. I appreciate... The effort to time travel us, but. <laughs> I went through every stage of grief. I've been there, done that. I'm still grieving from the plague in the Ultimate Decades Challenge. All right. I guess we could befriend you as well if we wanted Actually, I have an idea. 
Let's start the sewing circle. And maybe Lily will come. She should. What? Why are you complaining so much? Oh, you're sad about the horse. I get it. I do, I do, I do. Oh no, Ren hates knitting now. She's gonna have to cross stitch. Are any of these unfinished? Ren likes pranks in her old age. That's perfect. Where's Lily? Lily, no, this girl needs to leave. Lily, come sit. Lily, 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 come sit. Come on, come over here. Aww. Tell her she looks nice today, Ren. Yeah, I've only turned that off with MC Command Center. I'm not- I don't know of any other way. I don't think the game would be playable without MC Command Center. Look at this. Everyone's behaving themselves. No one is drinking alcohol. So what is the nightclub now? It's just people chilling. Who's, who's making an alcoholic drink? You must stop. We'll have to call the authorities on you. Girl, go pee. What's wrong with you? Catherine, how are things? You need a makeover too, because you're just as old as Ren now. Yeah, I can't play without it either. If I had to pick only one mod, and I was only allowed one mod, it would be MC Command Center for sure. Absolutely. Um. First of all, <laughs> we are here together right now. Secondly, why are you asking me on a date again? Why does she keep asking us on dates? Although I'm not going to lie. Kind of not totally against a post midlife crisis old age affair of some kind. But <laughs> this, I don't know. She's been insisting on this for literal decades now and I don't know what to do about this girl just can't stop asking us interesting come on guys sit over here please come sit down right now obey me immediately girl why are you cleaning the public toilet disgusting Okay, they don't want to sit over here. She never peed, apparently, because the toilet broke. She's finally peeing now. Oh, is that alcoholic or is that just orange juice? You better be behaving, Missy. Ren, ask how your daughter's doing. Go cowpoke dance. Aww, how you doing, kiddo? Are you pregnant yet? Congratulations on your marriage. Ooh, you go, girl. That's right. Excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna look and see. Alright, should we do it? I think we should do it. 
No, her husband's not coming up as a potential parent. We'll have to go to her house and do it. Because by now she's been married like a year or long, like t almost two. I don't know how many days it's been since her marriage. Maybe more than two. I can't remember during last stream if she got married at the beginning of the stream. No, she did not get married at the beginning of the stream. Because he tried to like... I don't know. Completely blow her off. I do remember that now. Alright, as much fun as I'm having... Not really. I think it's time to go so Charles can... Actually, you know what? Or Sam... I called him Charles. Sam! Can train his horses. We'll leave them there for a little bit. They can hang there for a little. It's fine. Sam needs to get some work done. The kids are all home from school. What's the situation exactly? We need to make the club. But real quickly first... Do something fun. Um, let's set him up with some training with the horse. And then we'll do the club. Um, let's see if we can get this up a little bit. Requires food that's horse friendly. Okay. All right, club. We're going to create a club. We're gonna call it Friendos. As you always call it Friendos. We're gonna add Arlene, Katarina, Thomas, Reginald, um, is that it? Huh, that's good enough. No requirements. Our activities are gonna be, um, play cards. Um, and marbles, if I can find it on this list. It's gotta be on this list, right? Am I just missing it? Am I just a silly goose? Oh my gosh, I don't see it. Is it under kids? Marbles. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Um, and do homework. Yes, 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 indeed. And... Um, 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 <sighs> care for animals. Yes, 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 yes. One more, one more. What should it be? It'll be social and friendly so we can earn some points. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, of course, I need a photograph. Um, um, the fire, why not? Ooh, a cathedral. Who's getting all crabby over here? Oh, Tiny's here now, too. Oh, he's so sad. He needs to spend some special time with the horses. Let's start a gathering so we can go absolutely crazy on this lot right now. Oh, Sam, I'm so sorry. Oh, Mildred's drinking now, too. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Horse skills, temperament. Compliment temperament. Will that help? Is this the temperament? Aww. 
Oh, Sam, I'm sorry. Oh. A horse is almost kind of like that, too. Maybe not so much with me. My one horse, Evie. Like, if you just go up to her and, like, go to touch her nose, she's gonna, like, move away from you. Like, again, not so much me, but other people. But if you come up and you slowly, like, go, like, between the eyes and down, then she's fine. Sam, what are you doing? Checking your toddler. Um, you have a wife for that. She's not currently here now, so... How are we looking on the temperament scale now? Oh my gosh. 87%. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. We'll brush you again. I, I, I guess. Um, talk about social life. I don't know if those actually really help. We'll do them. We will do them. Larson, Sam is going nowhere. Aww. Rosie Pony can feel Sam's passion and resolves to give it his all when training. Wait. You're not... You're not... That's the wrong pronoun. Resolves to give it his all when training. Rosie. Is there something you would like to tell us? <laughs> Do you identify as a boy horse? Yay! We reached level 7! Okay, before it gets any later, because we can't compete after 7, let's enter another competition. We're going to do Western Pleasure. We must have the wrong horse. Yep. Why does it default? Oh, no. The needs. How does the horse? Okay. For anyone who hasn't been around in a minute or has missed some of the streams and whatnot, for some reason, I cannot get these horses fun up. So I do cheat it because I will tell them to go play with the ball and stuff and they just they just exist in a constant state of having no fun. And it's like something to do with the lot because they're never actually on our home lot. They just run around the area around us for some reason. So I'm going to just quickly cheat. We've taken care of her in every other way. You know what I mean? Brushed everything multiple times to get that temperament up. We should be all good, so... Um, are you going to make me change horses again? This is annoying. It's not. It's it's, it's going to be Rosie. Rosie is sad, so that might impact. Okay, so we technically have met everything for expert. So let's see what we place if we give it a shot. Probably only going to get like third. So I started building a monastery for the Ultimate Decades Challenge, and I've not finished that yet. It's literally like a partial build that looks so ridiculous right now. In Windenburg, I think. Sad rider, sad horse, pro might even not place at all. I don't know. Leo. Leo. That's very helpful and sweet. I feel like maybe Leo would go to college. He's like our intellectual baby, you know? But, oh, he is an A student. Good job. For never doing your homework? That's good. <sighs> the monastery build is no joke. That's a lot. It's intense. Okay, toddler must need stuff, because... Alright, I gotta bring the ladies home, because everything's gonna fall apart while they're out dancing and having fun on the town. You know? <laughs> um, Thora, you've taken over most of the cooking duties, so how about it, huh? How about it? You know what? No, we're gonna use the cookbook, because I know we have a bunch of 
yeah, like pheasants and stuff in the fridge. So let's do roasted pheasant. Why don't you potty train the baby for me real quick? That would be so helpful. Um, Ren, did you ever do the laundry earlier? You did. Okay, so go put that on the clothesline, please. Daniel has written us again. She's very close to her dad. Oh my god, look at- Why do we have multiple roosters? That's just silly. That is silly goose stuff. Let's come over here. Oh, your, your friends are over here feeding the chickens a bunch of food. Okay. All right. We only have roosters. Um, oops. Okay. We'll keep one. We do have one egg trying to hatch. Did our chickens die? What happened? I'm so confused. Weird. Okay. Interesting. Yep. How? How? Your elegant display of the partnership between horse and rider has cinched first place, beating out the rest of the expert competitors? Folks left the Hey Now Equestrian Center raving about how cool and collected you and your horse looked. All that work on the fine details paid off. We can now participate in the master. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, we need to get some chickens. We need to get some chickens. Let's get a brown hen, a white hen, and a hen chick. Sounds good. Sam, you killed it, bro. That's my man. You are racking up medals. We can't possibly hang all of these in our house. We just can't. Talk about school. Why does he not have homework? Is your homework laying around somewhere? Oh no, you do have homework. I just am a silly goose myself. Um, why are we feeding the chickens in the house? Guys, unhinged. Absolutely unhinged. Someone's bawling their eyes out. <laughs> Probably Sam. It is. It's Sam. I don't blame you, buddy. All right. It is getting late indeed. Um, look how much our kleptomaniac has swiped lately. Holy cow. Spoiled eggs. I'm going to throw those away. I can get rid of that. Um, why don't you give some of these to your brother whose aspiration is to read a bunch of stuff? Girl, I don't know what to do with you. You're stealing all the wrong things. <laughs> Read some books. Did you ever finish your... So he's always reading, but he never finishes a book. It's really annoying, actually. Not gonna lie, it kind of upsets me we can't marry her. Our aunt. Our aunt Arlene. Uh, making an enemy of the rooster at the moment. <laughs> That's... Girl is... Wow. She's loving her new neat lifestyle. 
Mm, I think I want to check. I want to check something. Really? Oh my gosh. Really? It's broken? And I can't cheat repair it? Oh, for Pete's sake. You honestly gotta be. Gotta be joking. Now I gotta spend money on a computer? No, I'm gonna give myself my money back. Because I'm not actually buying a computer. 2908. Stupid. Okay. <laughs> um, what was I doing? Oh, yes. I want to check. Um, where's it at? Where's... Is it under Woohoo? Um, Risky Woohoo. Young adult. 15. Man, we've only done risky woohoos, and she got pregnant pretty easily both times, and it's only at 15. Adults at 10. Teens at 50. Ooh. Let's make sure no one does a risky woohoo as a teen. <laughs> I just wanted to check, because they probably need to woohoo, because it's been like a decade since they've woohooed now. Not a decade, a year, sorry. My mistake. But still, it's bad enough to not woohoo for a whole year. Girl, you better not get pregnant. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, she's going to bed. Save the day. We're good. We're not woohooing today. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> Alright, Ren is... Worried she's not lenient enough with the kids. Okay, that this is gonna go bad. People need to eat some food. Oh my god, eat. Oh my gosh, take care of yourself. What is going on? What is happening to our needs right now? I'm so confused. What? Everything is falling apart. Look at this poor boy. This poor boy is on the struggle bus big time right now. Alright, you're gonna eat, you're gonna shower, you're gonna use the bathroom. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Are you stinky too? Oh my. Oh my goodness. You guys have two beautiful bathrooms right at your disposal and neither of you have taken care of yourselves it's honestly shocking little one you're fine honey you can you can get a bath in the morning why don't you go sleep in your bed leo is busy reading um i don't see any progress bar for this book so i fear that he's never going to finish it Um, okay. Alright, so we are <laughs> somewhat surviving. Has everyone grabbed food that's gonna grab food? We're gonna put that away. Um, again, they fed the chickens in the middle of the floor, guys. I don't know exactly what went on there, but I think I'm gonna take a very quick break to use the bathroom and refill my water because I want some and it's gone. So we're gonna do that very quickly, maybe three, three minutes-ish and we'll be right back. And everyone's just gonna go to sleep and then we gotta figure out what we're doing with our following day. Because again, the calendar is empty. So the world is our oyster, guys. Any suggestions, drop them in chat while I am gone and we will be right back in about three minutes. Thank you.
All right, friends, we are back. I had a change of plan. I'm going to finish this warm Dr. Pepper, not sponsored, because I had to fill my water filter container. I did not have enough water. I'm very sad. I've had this all day. It's warm. It is what it is, I suppose. <laughs> That's what we're drinking for right now. So yay for me. <sighs> I am addicted to caffeine. It is It is true. Sadly true. All right. Um, yeah, we were taking care of ourselves because apparently I have to urge them, urge them to take care of themselves. And then we're all going to bed. I think I was thinking during break that we probably should take Leo out with his lady again. Um, is she still a teen is the next question. She is. Okay. So we can take them out after school, I guess, because it's going to be, he's going to be going to school. Um, <clears throat> um, okay. You look fine, but go to sleep. <clears throat> oh, geez. Sorry. I don't know what's happening here. <clears throat> um, you're already asleep. You, I don't know what to even say. You let yourself get in some dire straits, girl. Um, that's the wrong bed. This is your bed. This is her bed. Okay, okay, okay. No, go on, go on. He's out, he's out, he's out. Hey, welcome in. I'm glad you love the Ultimate Decades Challenge. I do as well. And you are the one who shared the story, right? I was blown away by that. Because that was a lot of information. And I'm like, did they like have this written down already? Or there's no way that this was done by memory, right? Because I could never. I could never do that. I did start. I don't even think I ever told anybody this, told any of you this. But I did start writing like the story of our ultimate decades, like in like paragraph form, like a novel kind of thing at the very beginning. And I started that. And then I don't know. I think. I think it was Harmony. Like around Harmony's death that I stopped. So if I was to catch up with that, it would take, it would take me a while. But yeah, I was actually writing that out for a bit. All right. This is just dumb. I'm destroying these. <laughs> I don't know why they fed the chickens in the <laughs> house. But this is our like Wild West family, but we're in the 1920s now. So it's a, it's a more fast paced challenge. Every two days is a year in this one. So we're currently in the 1920s here um, and we're working on our third generation. This is our third generation heir, Joseph. I can't see him right now, but he's there. <laughs> uh, okay, is everybody asleep now? We have a ghost here though, so time is not going to fast forward. What, what did you just possess? I saw you and then you disappeared. I feel like you were possessing something. Oh no, there you are. Sorry, I have to say goodbye to you. Ernest, nice to see you, buddy. Bye. <laughs> maybe the teen can open a clothing store, then maybe other sims will be dressed. Oh, do you have, like, a YouTube channel? I didn't even think to look for that. Okay, it's morning. It is morning. You need a shower. And then somebody has to make brekkie. It is you. You are you are a sacrifice. Oh, we are running out of Oh no, we're not. It's just that stupid setting. Let's do some everything bagels this morning. Find a store in the gallery, apothecary or something. Yeah, maybe. You know what? That kind of, yeah. So I don't know what we're thinking. Like, so our first daughter, Lily, like never really, I don't know. We didn't really 
have a plan for her life like at all so maybe mildred we could actually like get her into something um she's a slob and a kleptomaniac she's dastardly and sinister and she has high self-esteem leo is our oldest teen right now and he kind of has a little bit more of a personality because he's a genius he wants to be a renaissance sim he's like into learning and i think he's gonna go to college probably um but yeah our kids haven't really done much of that like sam of course as the heir he wanted to just have a horse ranch and win things and he's he's getting there now i don't think we can enter the master competition yet i don't think he would succeed i think we need to do a little more training first Oh, that's so sweet. So not so berry was actually the first challenge I ever did. Like, I, I don't know. I had seen challenges around, but I'd never really thought to do one myself. And then I tried not so berry and it was the first time I ever played the same family for 10 generations. I finished it. Um, and it was a while ago. I just did it on my own. I didn't film it or anything. So this doing it now, it's my second time through. But it was the first one. And then I was like, man, I actually like really like having a goal that I have to work towards, you know, rather than just, yeah, we have aspirations for the Sims and stuff. But not so Barry in particular, it really takes the control away from you, <laughs> you know, like this is what you have to do kind of thing. And it's a different change of pace. A family business in the future so early on we were actually going to use the loom and then we never did that and i, I don't know why it's a thousand dollars the loom costs a thousand simoleons so i think that's why we never ended up doing it but now that we're in the 20s i don't know if that really works as much you know what i mean like the ladies could do the loom and maybe then they could own a shop for something like that I'll have to think on that a little bit. The Wild West. Like, what is something the family could get into outside of the ranch? That would kind of fit. Oh my gosh, she still can't potty on her own. Oh my gosh. Oh, these guys are still not fully rested. Can you please help with the kid? Thank you. Look at these two. Or not. <laughs> Omar. I will try to remember that. I love that name. The first challenge I ever did was a short legacy challenge with a short lifespan. The 100 baby challenge, yes. I, I've done that on my own as well, but I did not get to 100 baby. Ren and Ella is... That's the... Okay, that's interesting. So she's potty training her right now? Or she should be, anyway. And normally, every time my Sims try to change a diaper or potty train a child, they get the strict dynamic. This is the first I've seen it pop up as permissive. But earlier in the stream, if you remember, she was questioning whether she was too strict with the kids. So I guess that makes sense. What is this? Oh, disobedient toddler. Fun. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up. Hey, we were just talking about that, Mildred. Pick something you like. No worries, you've got time. Mildred, I'm, I mean, you're a kleptomaniac, so I don't know. I feel like. Oh, wow. Our fun is awful in this. Okay, you guys go do something fun. You're in fine shape. Oh my gosh, why did he just get out of bed that, like he's 80 years old? <laughs> I look like that when I get out of the bed <laughs> in the morning. Alright, Sam. What are you up to? Because you gotta get to work, buddy. 
Um, let's see what is, I guess I have to click on the board to find that out, huh? I want to see what you need for the master competition. It keeps defaulting to Rioni. Wait, is it because she's asleep? I just want to see. I just want to see what you need. Okay, you need nine, nine, and five. Oof. Okay, we are way off. <laughs> we are way off. I mean, oh, that's Rioni. But I know we're still way off. We don't have, we have seven temperament, I believe. And f do we have level? F well, maybe we're not. Okay, I have to wait for her to wake up. Stupid. Oh, you are awake. Are you awake? No. You're kind of stressing me out, horse. Weird. Yeah, so with the fashion, I love 1920s fashion. I'm with you 100% on that one. What we kind of said was like we We've been taking a slower approach because they're in the Wild West, like assuming everything's getting to them a little more slowly. Like we just recently got them on the grid, like they were still off grid. Um, and then like with fashion, like we're slowly transitioning, like Mildred's wearing more kind of like, she's a teen right now, so, but a little bit more of the 20s style. Lily, who moved out, was the first one to really start. And then Ren's keeping her old lady granny, <laughs> old lady granny style. Um, but I think the ladies are going to slowly start like picking up on the fashion trends that are going around because we're not going to be in the 20s all that much longer. Let's see. So here is our new decade Eve. So a sim week in a couple of days, we will be in a new decade. So I think maybe next stream, or maybe I'll do it off stream in between. Maybe I'll give Thora, Lily, and Mildred more 1920s style clothing before the next stream. Because they're slowly starting to get into that. I like the flapper dresses, I could only find one that I really liked to download. I need to look a little bit deeper for more of those. But I do like the idea, the suggestions in chat for like a family business. I just don't know. I don't know what way to go about that. Like we have the ranch. We're essentially making money off of Ren's paintings. <laughs> Mostly, honestly. <laughs> There's not a whole lot more. And we get the eggs and the milk every day. Um... Ren's giving herself a pep talk. Somebody has to change this child's diaper, honestly. I thought we were supposed to be potty training. Oh, maybe we don't have to change the diaper. We actually have to bathe. All right, Ren, the bathing is going to be on you because Sam is going to maybe go compete. We have to see again. Well, let me look now. Under Rosie. Okay, Rosie, master level. Yes, so I was right, seven and four. So we need one more agility, but we really got to work on temperament. And he's got to work on his riding. Okay. That's unfortunate. That's going to take a while. <laughs> um, I'm going to have him go for a, a ten an intense ride this morning. Work on his skills a little bit also. Um, getting these animals taken care of. Ren's bathing the child. Is she though? Is she actually? She is. Good. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I have a question. When you did the not so very, what was your favorite gen and who's your fave ultimate decades character? Good questions. When I initially did the first 
because I'm doing not so very now, but I'm only on like the red generation is a child right now. Um, the first time I actually think yellow was probably my favorite generation. I just really liked the Sim. The Ultimate Decades one, that's rough. I don't know. Um, like, of all time, favorite? Um, God, I want to say Runar. I do. I know he was the first. I know. I know, but. Oh, we reached level eight. Perhaps Mildred would hear the legends of Mare and dream of a life like that, but love throws a wrench in her plans for adventure. So when she gets older, she remembers this was not her plan. Interesting. Yeah, so Unicorn, um, I could just change everyone's clothes with MC Command Center. Um, I did some of that when we first started, but now obviously the world has filled up with more townies. Um, and I try to grab them if they're people that we have around a lot. Um, but if they're just Sims just randomly around, I don't always change their clothes. I know. I'm bad. I need to be better about the immersion of it, but... There's, there's an idea knocking around in my head right now, but we've kind of already done it. So I'm just thinking it's prohibition right now. And we were, we were talking earlier about how this family would kind of like be like the, the rebels. So what if we started making nectar or I could download the mod for mead and we could make like beer. How do we feel about that? Thank you for stopping in. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your love and comments. It's it's incredible. If you can come back, that would be great. If not, I'll see you next time, maybe. Or what if they opened like a secret club? Where people could drink or something. I'm moonshine. Yeah, I'm like, you got you guys got a lot of good ideas kicking around in my head right now. I just don't know exactly which way to take it. You know, there's so many possibilities. But like a club, also, like some kind of like secret spot for people to like get together and dance and drink. That would also get them like more familiar with fashion and stuff because right now they're not they're not really like in high society or anything and seeing how people are dressing hmm i gotta think on this we only have three thousand simoleons you guys <laughs> we only have three thousand simoleons so our our you know, we're a little a little bit limited okay just a little um so ren ren if you have ideas right now, I need you to paint, okay? If you're having crazy ideas in your head, we need to finance those ideas. So please. Okay, so he rode. Um, let me guess, you're fun. Okay, you're actually fine. Perfect. Can you go compete really quickly then? Because you made like 1,500 simoleons at your last competition, bro. Here's my next question though. When they compete, they should like earned skill from that but i don't think they do yeah we're not even gonna take the thousand dollars and try this until we get our skills up more mm -mm. <gasps> yes the club in new orleans from the vampire diaries <gasps> mildred could be our singer she could sing at the club. Ooh, guys. Okay, I'm liking this. I just don't know where the money is going to come from. <laughs> we could do something here. Like, they could have, like, a secret basement or something. I might have to think about, th about this a little bit more for our next stream.
Yeah, I got a lot of thoughts. And by the way, love the Vampire Diaries. I have watched that. I don't even know now. I don't even know how many times. It's my comfort show. And I got to be honest, when I first, I was, I was still in my 20s, I think. When I first watched it, and I almost did not keep watching it. Because the first couple of episodes, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like so lame. It's like Twilight all over again kind of thing. Um, and I kept with it and I'm so glad I did. So glad. I'm going to have her make friends and see if she meets anybody else that's interesting. You are always calling. Why don't you just come visit? Damon and Klaus. Yes. That's so sweet that you could bond over the Vampire Diaries, Oberon. I love that. She could sing at local clubs and find someone to sponsor her, then open her own club. Yeah, I feel like that that would all tie in really well to like... Yeah, maybe that's what we'll have. Maybe Mildred will kind of be the one to spearhead the whole thing. It'll give her purpose in life. Of course, she's getting her parents to help finance it. And obviously, Ren is like... You can't stop me from drinking, dancing, and having a good time. I'm going to do all those things. <laughs> she she kind of decided that for herself. <laughs> By constantly going to her home bar. Um, we got gold again. What? Wow. That's that's awesome, Oberon. Oh, oh no. Why are you so sad? Why is your heart broken? What happened? <gasps> Seriously. Seriously, why are you crying? Wait, wait, wait. What? Girl, your marriage better be all right. Seriously. You haven't seen your mom in forever and that's how you greet her? Oh my gosh. And literally, like, when two days is a year, it's, it's like, it doesn't seem like it because we just saw her at that club the other day, but it's really been a while. Are you still doing okay in your relationship, I hope? Check in on. Yes, check in on. Are you good? Is there a reason you haven't gotten pregnant yet? Why can't... I hate that. I hate that so much. I do feel kind of bad that we didn't really give Lily anything in life. Like, we just got her married. <laughs> Shipped her off, like. But she was born a little bit more in the, you know, and I can't put these away. Wait, what? Oh, I'm just silly, of course. Mildred, quit stealing stuff. <laughs> At least steal something good. Oh, my gosh. Why is the pr Why is the principal calling? Oh my gosh. Is her performance that bad? <gasps> Uh-oh. If I'm not careful, I could drop a grade, honey. Okay. Why are you so bad at school? Maybe stop stealing stuff. I feel like Ren, particularly, would be like, mm, 
You'll be okay. Go reassure her, please, Ren. And then I need you to influence her to do some homework. Ren has always found it super important for her kids to go to school. And she's made sure that all of... Ooh, parenting level 10. She made sure that all of her kids got a good high school education. So she's going to tell her, you know. So let me, yeah, let's look. Uh, so does this start? Okay. Um, so it's not. Oh, okay. That's interesting. All right. So somebody asked about the Great Depression. So this is going to... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So per the challenge, it's going to start at the start of the next decade. Because we're in the 20s now. So it's going to be the 1930s. Um... By 1940 is when things started to get a little bit better. So that that makes sense. The crash was in 29. So at the end of this year would be like the stock market crash. But this, the, per the challenge rules, um, bills are only allowed to be paid once the electricity is cut off. You can add difficulty by waiting until the water has also been cut off to pay the bills. War veterans can receive a pension of 100 simoleons per veteran. That does not make it clear at all how often that pension is. Is it just once? It doesn't say. Um, and then added difficulty to simulate the stark stock market crash. Reduce your total household funds by 40% at the start of the decade. And they can only eat one hot cooked meal per day. They must scavenge fish and garden for food. And Sims cannot create medium or large paintings. Only small paintings. And we can shop at the thrift store. So thank you for bringing this up. Because this is going to impact how we handle things moving forward. And I had, I had to look at the rules because I don't... I, don't remember how they handle the depression. That was my bad. I hit the hot key on accident. We are in 1920-ish right now. Um, actually, midway through that decade, kind of. Yeah, uh, just about half. So our new decade will be starting the depression here. So, Dragon, I don't know if you were here. We were just talking about, like, doing something for this family besides just the ranch. How is this shed disgusting again? <laughs> so we were talking about maybe since it's prohibition, like, they would create, like, a little secret club area for people to drink and dance and have a good time. But now I feel like time restraints... We have no money right now to do that. <laughs> so it would be every two days, Dragon, in this, right? That I guess that would make sense. If it's paid every year, I guess we could do it that way. The rules don't say. So we can make up our own, I guess. <laughs> we could give it to them every two days. Or maybe just give them a lump sum. So that I remember. Because anybody who's been here for any amount of time knows there's no way I'm going to remember to give them 100 simoleons every two days. There, there, there's, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> so we would probably give them a lump sum based on that whole decade at the start. Um, 
so that I remember. Um, all right. Well, in the interim, we have to take care of our garden. Um, cause we're going to have to rely on this garden in the future. In fact, I want to plant some more stuff too. There's so many things to try to remember to do, but I feel like maybe we should take the money that we have and try, if we're going to do this little like secret prohibition era, like club thing. Maybe like the barn, basement under the barn. I wonder how, okay. Ren, did you finish that painting? You did not. And I can't, okay, it's someone else's apparently. And they're always dancing now that we have this radio. So I feel like that this is not far off the mark. But I think if we do it, we have to do it now if we want to enjoy it at all because <laughs> it's gonna be we have a limited amount of time do a landscape painting please we need money okay because we need money we need to go through are these complete indeed okay that one is at least that one's not oh my gosh well here's where all our money is complete not complete complete not complete you have to finish all of these what are you doing rent okay we're not broke anymore all of our paintings are in our inventory <sighs> i know you guys can't see this because the dog's in the way but you can see the money adding up here some of them are not complete so they're zero dollars but look at this I think we can make our secret club under the barn because um, she also has all these cross stitch things. Wow. And we have this easel that we're never going to actually use. So we might as well get rid of that because I already have one. Wow, just a little bit of inventory management and we are rich again. <laughs> um, let's give these to him. Let's look at your, you are adding stuff to your inventory currently. Okay, get rid of your cross stitches. Give the parts to him. Poor eggs, we will sell those. You know what, I'm selling that laundry, it's fine. I'm selling that fertilizer, it's fine. I don't know where she got a yoga mat. All right. She's going to finish gathering stuff from the garden so we can come back. Are these worth anything? $200 each? Wow. Robot salvage part. We don't need those. Hey, cooperate with me, please. Game. I'm going to have you give this picnic basket to your brother. So he can take his girlfriend out. Okay, Leo, what do you got? Just books out your rear end. Fertilizer. It's almost Leo's birthday. Is it really? Wait, where's his birthday? Hold on. I forgot about Leo's birthday. It's on Friday. It was hidden because there's so much happening on Friday. Okay. Wow. All right. We have to get him out with his girlfriend. But I'm in the middle of... All right. We're selling all this... Okay. Come on. Game. 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 Okay. <laughs> You just have all these books. I guess we'll sell them. Oh, that's your homework. Shoot. You're doing, you're about to flunk out of school. She stole a poster from high school as well. Joseph doesn't really have much on him, so. All right. We have 10,000 simoleons. 
In a story I read, there are two brothers. One sells art and the other paints. And in their time, there's a group to make, make it illegal for you to paint whatever you want and sell it. And you permission to paint and sell. But they do it behind their back. Interesting. Um. So, yeah, it's essentially... You were about right with the four-year prediction. So what I think we're going to do, because we only have so much time to make this a thing in our lives, I think we're going to build, like, a little underground cellar area where they're going to have, like, their secret little dance and drink um, spot. <laughs> so to do this, we need a basement. Um... Let's start like this, and then we'll see how she goes, how much space we need after we're down here. I want something that looks kind of country, kind of like we just threw this together because we're sick of being told we can't drink or have fun. And I don't know what we would do with this once the depression comes. You know what I mean? Where's... So we don't actually have a door on this side? Why not? We should. I believe we intended to. Uh, now I'm running into the stairs, huh? That's just not going to fly with me. Nope. It has to be even. It has to. There is no other option. No other option <laughs> at all. Okay. So if you walk in this barn, are you going to suspect anything? I don't know. Let's go one tile over. That should be by the stalls, right? Okay. Man, I wish we had like a hatch or something. I have a decorative one. But it must not be in this save file. I do have a decorative hatch thing in one of these save files. I don't know which one. So, we built this barn, but then we never really did anything with it. So, this is going to be the tack room, which should have been to begin with, to be honest. But, where they're going to hide this situation. Um, but we will actually put a floor down in here. And some lighting. What's wrong, baby? Is your dad ignoring you or something? I know you've been standing there for a long time. I know. So, this is my dog, Nova. This one bothering me right here. She has this weird thing where, like, she only wants me to take care of her. Like, you have to force her to, like, go outside for my husband. And it's like, I don't really get it. But I'm guessing she wants to go. And right now, I'm busy. Wow, that's huge. Is that too low? 
is that going to interfere in them walking? I can never tell with the lights. It drives me crazy. Anyone else? I can never tell. Like this one? Fine. That's going to be fine. I like this one, but I think it's too long. So maybe go with this one to be sure. All right. Now we're going to filter this by horse ranch. Um, Oh, I wish I could fit two there. That would be perfect. Annoying. I guess. I'm just trying to make it look like a tack room, you know? And this is too big, isn't it? Of course it is. I think I might need to download some CC so that we can have, like, like bridles and stuff because there should have been more of that in this pack and they're just oh, who's shocked not me to be honest but like there should be some hanging bridles and stuff in here but you get the idea it's the tack room Oh, man, I'm like barely holding up here. Okay. We need lighting, but it's got to be, it's got to have the right vibe. Like, you don't want to call attention to anything that's going on down here, you know? I, I know, I, I do know that I'm on horse ranch still. Seeing if anything really fits my vibe. Um, put these. Wow, that looks real nice. A little too nice, I think. It's really the only one that fits, though. I can't see squat down here, even with those two lights. <laughs> yeah, we need to be bigger for sure. This was so not in the plan. You all know that, right? 
I had like no plans to do that. Strangerville stuff? What am I looking for exactly? So definitely a bar, definitely a dance floor, a stage would be a good idea. If we're going to have Lily like play music or sing. She needs to start practicing, you know? Strangerville stuff. <clears throat> like decorations or... Lighting? That is actually kind of interesting. Like, this looks like something that you would rig up. Decor? Man, you guys, I'm getting hungry. Oh, I wish that was wooden. Because I do need, like, to make that tack room look more. Uh, okay, what else do we need down here besides, like, a bar? Let's decorate the bar a little bit. I'm thinking like a stage and then a dance floor. Let's see, maybe do the stage by the stairs. Close these off like this. Um, I always forget how to do these stupid platform things. That's all right, it was a good suggestion. That's huge, jeez. Hey, none of that. No, sir. Be nice. That too much? Is that too much? Um... Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have so much fun with this. <laughs> I am getting hungry, unfortunately, though. I didn't have much for lunch. Um, kind of was short on time. I swear, I do try to feed myself, you all. We, oh, like It's like we always talk about, I'm like always hungry. But I do try to feed myself. I I, I promise. I just, yeah, it was um, kind of a rush taking care of my horse today and then trying to get, get home, look somewhat decent and put together and I just had a snack. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can, I'm in love. I, I, I have, I have no words for what is happening right now. That's a good point, Dragon. Yeah, we spent a lot of money already. But this freaking thing was massive, first of all. I don't even know. How much was this thing? Where the heck is it? 600 Smolians. It's all right. We're, we, the big stuff's done for the most part. We're going to do carpet on the stage. Um, is red fitting y'all think? Um,
Why? 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 Why white? Why? Mm, I need more light. I can't see anything. I mean, this definitely was not the plan at all. But I'm actually loving this right now. Like, I'm going to get rid of these ones. We could probably actually save a little bit of money. I think we'll have room if we come in. Oh, wow. A whole 138 simoleons saved. And there's probably actually not enough room for a dance floor. Um, let's see. I fear none of these are going to make me happy, unfortunately. I mean, a smaller one? Because as we know, you can't actually, like, dance to whoever's singing the music. Not really, anyway. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be so in love with this. It's crazy. So we do need some kind of music to dance to. Hmm. How should we handle this? Oh, yeah. Gambling table. Perfect. Man, we are rebels, aren't we? I almost kind of want to give myself a little bit of money back for the decorations up here. Because, come on, they have horses with freaking saddles on them. Why do I have to pay 200 simoleons for a saddle rack in my freaking tack room? Like, <laughs> so silly. I don't know what to do with this, though. I'm going to look one to see. Wow. At the beginning of the 1920s, a new radio cost over $200, which would be equivalent to $3,000 today. Wow. So basically, we just have to simulate it. It's not like... Like if she's over here singing and people are dancing, like they're dancing to her singing, right? But that's not how it actually works in the game. So... Seven hundred and excuse me, what? No. <laughs> um No. This is actually a radio. We'll just do this. But apparently it only comes in one color. Yeah, and this can be our gambling corner over here. We really need a live music pack in The Sims. Truly. Look at this seedy little establishment they have. Aw, look at the little music box. That's cute. Um... Oh, I don't have my... I have, like, historic tables. I don't think I have them in here. Ooh, darts. Oh, it's got a digital dartboard on it. I have one of those in my other save file, too. Wait, maybe I, maybe I do. 
No? Okay, for one thing, why am I not seeing the actual hair? This is a card table. <laughs> Don't give them ideas first. They have to fix every bug in the game. Um, that has taken them decades. Decades at this point trying to fix bugs in the game. Yes. Oh my gosh, this should be so much bigger. We should have like a pool table down here too. I swear there was another... Maybe it's CC and I just didn't realize it. I mean, I guess this can pass. Sort of. As wood. <clears throat> cheap. We gotta be cheap now. Twelve dollars. It doesn't get much cheaper than that, does it? <laughs> God love CC. So... There's no way for us to really make money from this. So I feel like we should kind of like give them an allowance. Maybe she'll make some tips if she's singing. But we have to have like a club too. Because we can't actually like make this a community lot, right? So we're going to have to make a club of people to come hang out here. Oh... I might have to download some CC. Like these are ridiculous. I have one in another save file that is perfect for this. I would have to find it again though. I don't even know if I could find it in that mods folder. Um, I was gonna stick like the microphone and the guitar or something, but I think I'm gonna download a microphone for us. Um, let's take a guitar here. Whew. It's not cheap. I mean, this is a start. They can always add on to it and decorate it more. So I think what I'm going to end up having to do, you all, is do a lot of makeovers off stream get a lot of the people in the town made over um can you have more than one club gathering at a time because i want one of these too i want oh my oh it's so perfect but I'm missing... Okay. Well. How much is this bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a, a piano eventually. But yeah, I would love a piano down here. Maybe a second gaming table. How much is this stupid thing? 235 simoleons for that. I don't know. This could be interesting, but I think a lot of like the prep work for it will have to be done off stream before Wednesday when we play again. Trying to, did I like forget anything super obvious? And I mean, it's like in our barn. Like I thought I was thinking initially like in the house and then I'm like, mm, that's not very sneaky sneaky, you know? No, I want to go here. You dum-dums. So off the tack room of their barn. Nobody has to know what's going on. Although we probably have to change this to a wall. Right?
Oh, I had to go back to school on Monday. Yeah, I... The Wednesdays are tough. Like, in the past, I live streamed, like, during the week really late. Like, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And I just had a lot of people that weren't able to make it for those. Wait, how did we get a different... No, weird, no. Um, so I changed them to be a little bit earlier. And I don't know, it just seems it's like it's tough for people to make it to the Wednesday ones. So I've thought about going later. Sorry, I'm just noticing that we, how much, just how much we left the barn unfinished. I say we, but it was me. It was I. I am the problem. Always and forever. No one would ever know that there's a secret. Oh, we need some trim out here too. Silly me, slacking at my job as usual. <laughs> Man, Mildred's got to practice her singing because girls never sang a note in her life, ever. Where you at, girl? Doing your homework like you're supposed to? Sh shall, we <laughs> shall we see what you sound like? <laughs> Wait, we're singing. There it is. She's going to be bringing in crowds from all over. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So real quick before we call it a stream, because I said we were going to do it, but he's disgusting right now. He needs a shower and then we're going to just have him look at him trying to drink too. Um, have him chat with his girl for a minute at least. I imagine Leo roasting her so bad. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Cheat the skill a little bit. So maybe she's a naturally good singer. What do we think? Yeah. Should I give her a little skill? <laughs> um, oh, I can never remember where his skills are. Apparently I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> oh my gosh singing she's level two let's just give her like five okay why don't you try again Sing an actual, sing London Bridge is falling down. <laughs> Who is sobbing? <laughs> there we go. All right, Leo. Wow. Um, <laughs> I was going to have him hang out with his girlfriend. Um, oh, and it is his birthday, like, soonish. So, Friday is his birthday.
All right, we're doing it. We're having her over. Hurry up before she goes to bed for the night. He's probably got to tell her at this point. Like, he's almost... It's almost his birthday. He's going to be applying to college, probably. He needs to talk to her about what she's willing to hang around for. Like... Bro, it's you that's always doing this. It doesn't need to be that loud. Why can't I actually click on her and do anything? There it goes. Oh my. Wow, we have, like, no options for interacting. Did he turn that up again? Okay, I turned it off. But, um... Maybe he has hearing problems. I don't know. He's always turning that thing like way up. Oh, he's too sad to even flirt with her right now. This is not going well. <sighs> no, where are you going? I know you're tired. You'll live. Get over here. You have to have serious conversations with her. I wanted to ask her to be our girlfriend, but... He's just having a mood swing right now. No. Leave it off. You little... <laughs> okay, we can become BFFs. That'll work for... <gasps> He's turning it on again. Leo? Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh no, he's hysterical. Okay, time for you to leave. Time for you to leave. He's going to bed. Go to bed. We're not dying of hysteria today. Nope, not today. For sure not. Oh boy. Alright, we need to make sure no one else is like dying while we were busy. Because, how's the child? Oh. No one fed the child. At least the child's sleeping in bed now that I got rid of those stools by the fire. So that's a plus. That's, that's one good thing. Am I right? Oh, the floors need swept. Oh boy. I think this is a problem for next stream. <laughs> so we will come back. I will probably go in and do a bunch of makeovers and stuff so we can actually play around with their little hidden. Um... We need a name for it. We need a name for our secret little place. Like, something that reflects, like, the opposite of prohibition, you know? I think on that, too. But I will work on... What was the other thing I was going to work on off camera? I was going to do makeovers. I feel like there's something else that I was going to do. This is why <laughs> I never accomplish anything, because I forget five minutes after saying it. Literally. Like, almost every time. But I think I'm going to call it for today. I'm sick of drinking warm Dr. Pepper. I am hungry. I have leftovers for dinner. I have leftover stuffed peppers. So I'm going to go heat up my Din Din. I'm going to eat. And then probably work on some of this off-camera stuff and work on finishing that Ultimate Decades. Oh my god, I have not saved this game in ages. Um... 
work on the ultimate decades episode which basically just wraps up the black plague year um it's not really an episode there's no like real gameplay going on there it's just a lot of editing and posing and picture taking so i need to work on finishing that um, i hope if you celebrate that you have a good easter um, i do have to also go make my crusts for my dessert too so i want to get my dinner so that i can get those desserts started before it gets too late tonight but i thank you all for hanging out and i hope to see you next time i feel like stuffed peppers you like they're kind of people either love them or hate them kind of thing i'm a big fan of peppers like peppers and onions if like if i can find any excuse to put them into a dish i will particularly the onions though but i love me some peppers love me some onions um didn't really like stuffed peppers until i was an adult though i think that was just stubborn childhood nonsense but yeah thank you all so much for hanging out with me I hope you have a good rest of your weekend and I will see you on Wednesday, hopefully. Bye. I appreciate you all. See you later.